go. Hey, I got some more dice. Sweet. Who do we talk to for the face paint, though? That's what I'm still trying to figure out. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. More skill points, please. Oh, wait. That means I probably have enough now for... Yep, I do. Let's get that to level level three. So this is going to be my first one that's going to be fully upgraded. Why isn't it saying press X to upgrade? Wasn't that an option at the bottom? That's weird. Fully upgraded a Valor Surge. Nice. Yeah, this one's pretty good. I saw the as soon as I saw the video, I was like, I gotta have that. Now what? <laughs> now what am I gonna Oh my god, look oh damn it. Is there possibly another Valor Surge quickly fill up thingy? Better be. You know, I can kinda of tell it is faster now that I've gotten those upgrades, but um no, I need it to be even more quicker now. Now that I got the uh, that longer bar to fill up. Yeah, I need it to be even more faster. I need it to be instant. Yeah, one shot instantly fills it up. <laughs> That'd be overkill. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit? Sounds great. Minerva? Oh my god. I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. The spirit. That is a spirit. I see three of your skill trees are empty. Yeah, which ones have I not started at all? Oh yeah, Trapper, Survivor, and Machine Master. So this is basically like the... Uh, well, it's got the override thing for the machines and other stuff. And Survivor, that's for potions, which I should probably get. Trapper, and... Uh, barely use traps, but... Yeah, it even says right there, but there's stuff for the... The trip and the rope casters. Rope casters, I actually haven't been using either. I should, though. I tried earlier, actually. Yeah, and I kept missing it, and I was like, ah, screw this. Attention. All personnel must vacate the facility. Hold up. Immediately. Ah, Something doesn't want us here. It's Mech Pharaoh. Ted Pharaoh's coming back from the dead. No, what if he was never dead? What if he's a robot? It's just his head inside a tube on top of a machine. Oh, man. I hope what that's... What exactly was this place? Hope that's Seen the final boss. like it before? No. It's a repair bay. Tau. I have seen something like this before. There. That's our way out. Really? Oh, wow. I thought that was the way out. Yeah. <laughs> I was just looking around for stuff. Hey, what's up, Devin? How you doing, man? Thank you. Appreciate it. There's really nothing in here? Or medicine? Oh. And now I can't move. What's going on? Yep. Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. We're in hell. I'll scout ahead. See if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah. Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. I like I said, not right now. <laughs> Tell me, no! You don't want to do this right now. Stop. Oh, God! Oh, 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 oh. Man, this game is going to give me a heart attack. <laughs> I didn't realize what we were looking at. Ooh, those jumps too, man. Those jumps. I'm going to die before before I beat this game. Yeah, we're making some progress. Yeah, some progress. Okay, I'm supposed to be going up. I guess there's like two ways to go up this, this shaft. Yeah, I think we died and we're actually in hell now. It's all red. Okay, I need to find where Minerva's hiding. I should look for a way to access the facility systems. Oh, okay, I thought I was just gonna open up that door. Oh, well, we, we can, I guess. Wait, what about here? Locked. Oh, locked. Darn it, it's always gotta be locked. That's a lot of red, your room looks creepy now. <laughs> 
Restricted access. You are not wanted here. Nope. Never wanted. Sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. Not wanted anywhere. Huh. Might be able to pull that open. Yay. Wish you could give me 20, though. Uh, okay, hold on. I gotta. I think I gotta go that way. But first, what are all those cables in the center for. Uh, for the internet. Guess I'm not going that way. Oh, I thought I saw another door open. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm seeing things now. It's probably all those mushrooms that I've been. Yeah. That was two though. Yeah. Which one is? Which one's the wrong way? Yeah, because I'm sure this there's probably going to be a dead end for one of these. Aha! A Folex. Nice. Dead end. Well, there you go. She said it. Yep, she said it. Well, I mean, I looked up at the uh, compass up there and I was like, okay, maybe this is the right way to go. So I guess I'll check the I other side. Feel a draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. Shaft. Aha! Nice. I forget, what did I, um... I needed some of... Well, one of those green shines... Well, there's like different types of them. Uh oh Looks like another part of the facility. Could that be one of the doors that I saw? That was close? Door is locked. Can't do anything about it? Oh, store power. Don't think I'm getting through that door right now. I should turn back, see what else I can find. Mm. Okay, that might be where we're getting out, I guess. Maybe. Oh, I see the light! <laughs> we're in, uh... I'm outside. Yeah. I need to find a way back into the facility. There you go, Cornelius. Is that Maybe better? I could look for a way in higher up the mountain. <laughs> It's not red anymore, man. God, this game does look beautiful, though. Can I just walk? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, that is medicine. I gotta remember to scan, too. Oh, this is probably die, right? Oh. Well, you know what? Fine. I'll climb with that. Yeah. If that's what you want me to do, game, I'll do it. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms, and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. What? Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up? Well, we gotta fight. We gotta save that for the third game. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta save that for the third game. Huh? I bet we probably won't find out. <laughs> Yeah, because there is going to be another game after this one. Well, that and... Well, I, I guess if there is going to be DLC for this game, it's probably going to be some other side story, I guess. That might have some connection with the third game. Probably. Okay. I need more, though. Yeah, they called that clone beta. I didn't realize it when uh, when I saw that cutscene, but I went back and watched it, and I was like, oh, yeah, beta. Didn't realize they called her that. The clone. Wait. Hold on. Okay, there's no collectibles around here. There's plain song. I hope the Otaru are doing okay. What? For the attack. What location? What are you talking about? Don't tell me what to do. Man, guys, look at that view. You guys see that way over there in the back? We might be able to go there. Yeah. <laughs> we might be able to. Oh, hold on. There's... Oh, wait! Those rocks look loose. Crap. I think I can clean oh. them. Okay. I thought I wasn't going to be able to go up there. Ah, another shaft. You're damn right. This game control has a lot of red in the game due to the enemies and stuff. A lot of red. 
All right, we're going back in, man. Okay. Now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Get ready to see more red, Cornelius, unless we actually restore the power or whatever. Didn't put anything around here? Come on, Looks man. Looks like some kind of dome. Wonder what it's for. Oh. Oh, really? I should have made a right turn. <laughs> Could have gotten this right away. Please tell me I can climb this. There we go. GG. I took the long way. What the hell? Oh. System core penetrated. Eh, penetration. Really? Well, this is it. Okay. Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. Did I cease? I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her. Like you used to be. Does it Yes. We have to lie to her. The misery will not cease. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. I hope Greg shows up or whatever that guy's name was. Bob? Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. To initiate heuristic matrix. Here goes. Those are some pretty effects. There's the Watchers. So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. It's not going to be the companions as we think of. Um, it's the other guys. Okay, but don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like, well, you. Okay, it was them. <laughs> I thought it was going to be the other guys. Yeah, I thought they were going to be here. Uh, so no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Borl, Zoe, this is Gaia. 
Hello. Hi. Hi. Guy is still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. I have established a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. Aww. I suggest you explore this facility, Aloy. Until my initialization is complete. Yeah, how about go have a little boss fight or something? I'm sure that's probably what's gonna happen, right? <laughs> I was I'm kinda disappointed. I was trying to jump through so I could go through her. So I could be inside her. We can't do that in this game. That's too much. The, P the PS5 can't handle that. Probably have to wait till PlayStation 6 so we can do that. Imagine if she was called Siri. <laughs> uh, they're saving that for part three. What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Wait, what about- Or maybe just a few to start with. You two go ahead. I'm going to poke around a bit. She's a spy. <laughs> I was gonna say um, that shaft that I went through, where that door was locked. I wonder. I wonder if that door, if it led here somewhere. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. It's gotta be lore around here, right? She looks stressed in this game. Who, Aloy or uh, or somebody hey, Gaia? else? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Garbage. Got it. Yeah, fight more bosses to, or gain more experience to be able to open, open up those doors. Bet there's lore in there. What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Oh. Reminds me of the bed house Aspirants had to sleep in the night before the Proven. Thought this was like the shower room or something. Man, I'm really surprised there's no lore yet. <laughs> like in here, I mean. Kind of figured there'd be like a thousand of them. Oh, here's the showers. Or it's the cryogenic tubes. How old is Aloy in this game? Actually, I know they've said like how old she is, but I'm not sure. Like this, this game takes place only... um. A few months after the first game, right? I believe. So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? He... Sabotaged things. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Looks like another office. If no one's ever been here... Who built all this? I did. Gaia did. With the help of machines. Bullshit. I did it. It was all me. Um, man, I still remember that one cutscene from the first game about what Pharaoh did to, you know, those people. That was pretty insane. And that's why I feel like he's still alive. It's just his head. And on top of a machine. That'll be the final, final boss. Probably in the, th in the third game. Yeah. So this was supposed to be... the lab. That was its intended purpose. Was that Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. A fabrication terminal? Wait, what? Uh... Plowhorn override. Override available, override unlocked. Why are those words like together so close? Yeah, where it says available and override? Oh, I have to make it? Oh, what? Man. <laughs> this game is making us do a lot more than compared to the first game. Like, first game, you unlock the override after you do the cauldrons. For a lot of the machines, too. It's not just one. Oh, wow. 
And there's definitely more mach Oh, never mind. <laughs> we can keep going to the right. I was going to say, I thought it was just this and that's it. No, we can keep going. This one looks different. It's like a little brownish tint on the left, top left. Hmm. Yeah, wait, why is that? Why is that one different? Hmm. It's probably a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. 20 years old? 19 or 20? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, they really want you to do more. Yeah, so that would, well, that's why this game's not short. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the Crofton override. My initialization is complete. Oh, you know what? I should probably make a job for that, too. Sure. Why not? Explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. I wonder if there's a limit on how many jobs I can make, because I have a couple already. Oh, and that reminds me, I should probably upgrade the boat, too. That door leads to the west exit. But before you leave, we have much to discuss. Right. Should I? Uh, where's this going to take me, though? Could this possibly be one of the spots that I've been to already? Or there's probably a weapon in, in the spot. Yeah, I know they've, they've said her age, but I just couldn't remember how old she was. Oh, could just drop down. Wait, have we been here already? Oh, yeah, here we go. We're back here again. But this was locked before. And now we're back here again. What's all this stuff for? This facility was designed to process an immense amount of data from the terraforming system. Nice. This is where it would have been stored. Bull. Should let me open this up too. It's probably like Twinkies in there or M&Ms. Yeah. Yeah, there's gonna be a few call. Well, oh, we probably can't see. Ancient metal eye. 22 hours and 33 minutes is how long it took you on story? Oh, okay. Yeah, um, uh, oh, wait, I could probably check how long I've been playing here, right? Well, I know in the save file it tells you. Oh, I thought it'd tell you here too, but I guess, yeah, I guess I gotta save my game to see. Oh, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Well, from the last checkpoint. Wait, I thought it was already 17 hours in. This was uh, two minutes ago. Yeah. So I'm 17 hours and 45 minutes in. No, it's 17 minutes and 45 seconds. <laughs> Man, this game is pretty... Uh, we've done so much. Like some kind of so much. Room. And so little time. Good. Door's locked until Gaia can restore access. Okay. Ah, I wonder what's up with that metal eye that I picked up. Okay, yeah, here we go. All right, so... This is where he came in before. That room looks like the Dead Space safe station. <laughs> what if I told you that they're connected? Okay, guys, tell me. I have to aim for the limbs, right? I haven't played... Uh, I played a demo of Dead Space 1 whenever that demo came out years ago. But, um... Yeah. Shoot the limbs? Is that what I gotta do? What other doors were closed before? I don't even remember. Have I been here already? Oh, no. No. Oh, my God. Oh, I've been down here before. Oh! It's where I first got into the facility. Oh! <laughs> right. <laughs> Come on, man. Door's locked. Ah, of course. Maybe Gaia will be able to get it open later. Yeah, just go fight more... Do more, more cauldrons, I guess. Did I leave the game on again? Yeah, I did. That's that's what I did. Yeah. All right, I guess we'll go then. Where's uh, where's the thingy at? Was it here? Oh. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. Whoops. <laughs> That I had to press R2. To Attack the limbs, but not against the Uber Morph. It just keeps coming. I wish I knew what that was, but I gotta play through Dead Space 1, 2, and 3 before the reboot comes out. I already got the game, so I'll be ready. Ah, uh, wait. It still says to explore the base. Optional. It didn't get rid of that. There's gotta be something else I'm missing then. Hold on. There has to be more. Something that I can see and that I didn't see yet. Back already? Yeah, yeah. We're uh, might want to look around more first. We're fired. Yeah. I'll come with you then. No, no, you can stay behind. Oh, good. Door's locked until Gaia can restore access. 
Okay, there's gotta be there's gotta be something else I missed. Ah, oh, what other? Oh, what was that? Wait, I saw something. Or is this something that's in here but I can't get to yet? Yeah, there there has to be something else that I could get then. Crap. Scariest thing ever. Is it is it from the first Dead Space? Wait, uh, what what is Dead Space the the reboot coming out? Is it this year? Or have they not said yet? Wait, I haven't been in here, have I? This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Yeah, talk talk over each other. It's too bad. <laughs> Gaia has a twin. Let's not talk about the eye part. Yeah, th is there no date for that game yet? For the Dead Space uh, reboot or remake? Because I got to play through the first three games before I play that. Just in case. I gotta be ready. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're... ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah. But two big ones first. What is the meaning of life, and why are we here? Subordinate function. No, actually, I want to know about these guys. Yeah. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. Stranger. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. They did it. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. But why? The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. What? Oh my god, no way. I was joking when I said aliens. The calculations are complicated. Oh, you gotta be kidding. But it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. What? No. She's crazy. That AI is messed up. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? Yeah. But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. It Unless... didn't. I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? <laughs> what the fuck? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. So there's... The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. You know what this means, guys? This means that even people from other planets are dicks in the future, too. Man. This whole universe is filled with dicks. Wow, alright. So who knew, who knew that that little plot at the beginning of the game about Far Zenith and all that had something to do with the story of this game? Okay. Subordinate functions. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Are we gonna go? Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. 
We're not gonna get them. Transmitting query pattern. We're not gonna go for all of them, are we? Right now? Well, in this game? Receiving. No way. It's are they all not gonna be in the US? Of Apollo, Artemis, and Eleuthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. We're going to Texas in the DLC! <laughs> and Mexico, probably. Or... Wait. And Hephaestus? It's gotta be here, right? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Oh. Precisely so. Not in its so, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Man. Okay, wait. I was thinking, oh, you know what? We're probably going to Texas for the DLC of this game, but it looked like they were when they were showing them off. It looked like part of it was in Texas, but that's the Forbidden South or whatever the hell they call that place. <laughs> uh, it makes it seem like we're gonna get all three of those in this game. Oh man, I'm pff, Jesus. The story took a turn that I did not expect. At first, I thought it was gonna be aliens, but. No, they made it to that one planet. Jesus. Okay, uh, let's see. Questions about the Zenus. Are these? No, these are new, right? Let me see the Zenus. Oh yeah, they're new. Yeah, let's let's see. I'm really curious. I want to learn more about them. What the hell? Let's see the Far Zenus Descendants plan. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. Yeah. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that, if they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power until she could take control of Hephaestus, and then the whole terraforming system. Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere to their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. Hey, Carrie, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Man, what the hell, dude? <laughs> this story. Wow, alright. And how did the descendants get here? You said Sirius is 
really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Right. So, how would the Descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster, a mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. Dude. All right, the clone. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proven Lab, they... They had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, the clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But... How could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. Mm. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. Maybe she doesn't know. It is difficult to know. Yeah. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. The story is only going to get better? Yeah. Yeah. I mean... So I was not expecting this at all. Let's see, the signal and other subordinate functions. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. Probably some a relative of uh, that guy who made Hades, maybe. Maybe. It's gotta be. Far Zenith technology. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship... I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. Perhaps a way can be found to defeat their shielding. Yeah, I hope so. Or I'm not going to be winning fights against them anytime soon. What's up, Ethan? How you doing? And how do you track the, or how did you track the signal? How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself. 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, 
I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. Man. <sighs> Alright, well that's that. Uh, let's see. Question about the subordinate functions. Uh, the subordinate functions you detected. The three subordinate functions that you detected. What do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were... Irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. Guy is the greatest hacker of all time. She has a uh, serious satellite radio. Yeah, that's how she's able to do this. All right, let's see. The missing subordinate functions. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Nothing. Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Pharaoh. Yep. Pharaoh, huh? <laughs> I really hate that guy. Understandable. Yeah, fuck that he guy. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. Okay. What about Hephaestus? You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without <clears throat> Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Hmm. Could it be possible maybe the other functions, maybe those might be part of the DLC for for this game? Let's see, why wait to subdue Hephaestus? Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. Might have to take that and risk. How many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity, exceeding that of Hephaestus. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That'll be more than that. So, Khan? Yeah, it's, it's Gaia. Or is it? <laughs> and how do we trap Hephaestus? You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, 
Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. And if you don't... <laughs> could Hephaestus help defeat the Zenus? So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes. And to program their behavioral routines. Or even control them directly. So, could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth. Human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the Far Zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. <clears throat> As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. She's the real villain. <laughs> Can you imagine that twist? Uh, and we have more, right? Yeah, we haven't seen this one yet. Oh, okay. So, wait. Isn't that the one I was just... Oh, okay, I guess I missed this option. Farzina technology. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship... I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Oh, no, no! Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. Wait! Throughout hit every defensive technology. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines. No shielding could withstand such an assault. Didn't she say this already? So there's hope. Always. Wait, am I tripping? Oh my god, I think I'm tripping. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely the final boss. Wait, we heard that already, didn't we? Okay, I think I'm just tired. <laughs> the biosphere. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning Yeah, we did, right? Yeah. In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. Then you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward <clears throat> that end. Once again, I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> yeah, I was like, um, yeah, because I saw, I, th I thought I saw one of the options was like this highlighted, like, you know, not grayed out. I mean, I'm just tired. <laughs> yeah, the bellowbacks. Yeah. And how long do we have? How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors, Five minutes. the biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Aether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Jeez. Well, every bit counts. Okay. 
Okay. Well, let's get started. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. It was highlighted, right? Yeah. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, it's a glitch. the subordinate function sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus. But they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. What? Ru a ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Go to Vegas? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Really? Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. San Francisco. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? What the hell? I thought it was pronounced Demeter. That's how they call her name, called Demeter in Hades, right? Hey, what's up, Sino? Yeah, I guess we're gonna yeah we're gonna do some gambling. Um, wait, what? Ether level seventeen, level twenty two, and level twenty four. I think I'll head for Ether. Well, yeah. Then I will assign Ether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. Are we going to LA? <laughs> That'll be awesome. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. She's... Well, I, uh... I guess I should get going. She's lying. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Marl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Wow. All right. What's this? Wait. Access point for dome imaging system? Is this going to be like another thing? Another thing that I got to collect or... Man. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to Vegas. That's crazy. I can't, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. Oh, but I gotta go to Ether first, right? We picked Ether first, and um, Poseidon is in in Vegas, right? Poseidon was the one. Hold on, is it marked on the map now? Is that it? Wait, 
Why did it show me that? I, I mean, I've gotten a black box before, but... Hmm. Oh, maybe I gotta wait until I get out of here, I guess. All right. Gaia, what is this? It is a control console for a drone-based imaging system connected to this dome. I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Oh. So this Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but the drones aren't connected anymore. If I find the drones out in the wilds, I could get the data from them. Kidding me? Use it to reconnect them and restore the display. <laughs> Another collectible. God, there's going to be a lot more to this game compared to the first one. No, nah, man, I, I'm going in order, man. I mean, what level am I? 19? Yeah, I don't think I'm ready for uh, Poseidon next. Wait. Oh, my God. Wait, do I not have... Okay, now it's activated. <laughs> I had something else activated. Man, this this story just took a I turn. Need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plain Song's doing after the attack. Yeah, a turn that I did not expect. <laughs> Let's get a hangover in Vegas. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to wait for that for a bit. I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take to get the um, uh, ether. Probably won't be easy. Wait, was there something else here? Like, um... Oh, okay, sure. I guess it was just that. Yes. I think it'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. Thanks. We're going to need some power cores to power up the uh, machines to gamble. You guys see that over there? We can't go there. I need to head further west. Like Kanye. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. Oh, more Doritos. One to wear, one for backup. How many does she have? you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know what they're going to talk about. When will you be back? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> but hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clanlands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. We come back, there's going to be a little Varl Jr. Yep, running around. It's going to take us nine months to do all this, by the way. I have to explore more to find the oh. parts I need. The hell is that? <laughs> it just went to black quickly. <laughs> 